Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, welcome to Magnamy Homestead. Uh, today, I'm going to do a brief uh, video uh, on butchering rabbits. We've been raising rabbits for a few years, uh, butchering for ourselves and some family members, and also uh, to sell on our homestead. So, um, although I do it my way, I believe it to be, to me, the best way I know how. Uh, go ahead and leave comments or uh, ideas uh, in the bottom uh, when you, if if you have any better ideas. I'm always open to uh, suggestions. I'm going to run you through some of the things that I use uh, to butcher rabbits, and. Here and again, some of the things I also use to butcher pigs, uh, my deer that I kill every year when I hunt, uh, anything really that uh, and I'm kind of set up. I'm, I might even be able to do uh, larger animals, but I haven't tried that yet. But let me run through some of the things that I have, and uh, we'll, we'll get going. I'm going to pull you off just for a bit off my stand hoping you can hear me okay uh, using a headset today for later on I want to start let me back up some of the property out here that I have my rabbit hutches chickens garden this is my skinning station uh, yeah it might be overkill for rabbits but uh, that's what I do. Uh, so I just built this, put it up. I had another one similar to it, and uh, it, I built it out of pine trees, uh, and it didn't stay up. It didn't make it. But this one here, I've got some free uh, telephone poles, and was able to erect this the other day, my wife and I. And uh, this is what we're going to use this year. Uh, get a little chintzy on the uh, come along. Now I'm using an electric powered 12 volt 1 ton Reese's towing uh, winch. And got it hooked to a small snatch block up top. And then coming down for rabbits, there's a hook there. But for rabbits, I use a uh, string. It's a paracord. And then I have two loops down at the bottom to hook around the rabbit, rabbit's back legs. So I haven't... Uh, normally I have a skinning tree, which is uh, over there. But this year, I'm going to go ahead and try it on this. Or this year this time I'm going to try it on this to see if it actually works thing with this is I can actually just adjust my uh, my up and down if I want it up farther <laughs> yeah I'm getting old I like it uh, I like it easy I've got my uh, tail here stainless steel got this from a friend of mine that uh, they come across it somewhere. He says it's a mortuary slab. It was longer. I cut it off. Used part of it somewhere else. But here I'm using this. These are my skinning knives. This is my this is my gut hook. I use this. I also use this one quite a bit. No tip. Broke that off a long time ago. But the uh, the blade is still sharp. And it still works good, so I still use it. Got a little honer. It's always nice to have because your blade will get dull. I keep uh, rags. I do wear gloves. My garden hose. I clean out a uh, ice chest to put the uh, rabbits in after I dispatch or you know skin them out that's uh, where they go I just usually use just cold water 
on a day like today, it's going to be okay. Just straight cold water out of the hose. It stays good until I get them into my wife. And then she uh, takes care of them from there. And then, of course, a bucket for uh, the carcasses. So I've got you set up over here behind me. Over here, I want to show you uh, the rabbits. Today, I've got seven of them that I'll be dispatching. These ones here are approximately uh, 12 weeks old. They are a cross between uh, a gray New Zealand, which is a fairly large rabbit, and they're crossed with Rex. Not mini Rex, but Rex rabbits. The reason why we do that is because at this size here, they will be uh, meat, meat ratio to bone. Uh, you get a lot of meat, very little bone. So I keep them in there. You notice how they're nice and happy. They're in there eating grass. Try not to feed them a day or so ahead. The uh, reason why is because maybe when we get in there, you, you might see uh, it kind of sometimes they poop a lot. Uh, try to limit their water the very last day just so that their uh, bladder isn't full. Um, I'm not too worried about the bladder if I break one, but the gull is, uh, you want to stay away from that. So there's a lot of ways uh, people dispatch rabbits, or any animal for that fact. Uh, I'm going to put you back in the thing as I'm talking. Uh, myself with rabbits, I dispatch them by breaking their necks. I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to show you how I do it, kind of. Um, let's see if I can swing you around here. And all it takes, guys, really, I've got a T post right here. See that T post? Now I'm going to get get down where you can see me. Hold on. Pretend this is a rabbit. Okay. You can see me get close to this. But basically, you take the rabbit out of the cage, put it down on the ground, just nice and easy. You know, you can even pet it, whatever you gotta do. But right behind the ears, you'll have the ears coming back like this. And what I do is right behind the ears, as and they'll lay there, uh, lay that right behind the ears. They'll lay there during that whole process. And then what you do, you step here as you're grabbing the back legs, and you get a good firm pull and pull. And what you'll hear basically is their vertebrae breaking and snapping. Uh, to me, more humane doing it that way because I've noticed in the past that uh, when I shot them with a 22 or a um, pellet gun or or whatever they they still feel it they definitely do not like it. I mean, they bleed out all over the place. If you're saving pelts, they'll bleed all over the pelts. You'll have to uh, you'll have to do all kinds of things with the pelts and so forth. Um, like I said, guys, I'm I'm not an expert. I'm not. Uh, a, a, I like to keep things humane as possible when I kill things, dispatch things. But, uh, you know, it, it seems when you do that, I'm not going to show it to you because a lot of people, YouTube probably will freak out and shut me down. But uh, breaking their necks like that, they don't, they don't twitch. They, I mean, they, 
you feel a little bit of tremor, but uh, they're 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 gone. They they just feel nothing. Uh, whereas when you shoot them, uh, you know, not to be graphic, but they they hop around, they jump around, they get blood all over the other rabbits. The other rabbits freak out uh, while they're sitting there waiting. You know, you saw how calm they are right there. That's how calm they stay. Um, you know, and that's what I like. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, what I'm, I'm going to probably I've got seven to to butcher, so you might see uh, multiple rabbits because I might change up what I'm doing, uh, change show you something different on one, not the other. But uh, bear with me. We'll get this going. We'll try to teach you how to how I uh, butcher rabbits fairly simple you know, once you get once you get good at it or once you get proficient at it really these seven rabbits uh, after you get set up and, and you actually start the process seven rabbits would shouldn't even take you half hour from start to finish and that's just you know easing through it making sure everything's done right uh, so uh, bear with me and uh, I'm going to stop the camera here and